This video is created by Top Developers. Top Developers is not a business website, it's just a knowledge sharing website. By using this website, you can share your knowledge or you can express your knowledge. And uh, if you qualify our examination, which was uh, available on your on our website topdevelopers.co.in, then you will have some, you know, uh, you have stars that you have qualified, and we will certify that you have qualified this thing, this these skills. Uh, so we have lots of skills tests like HP.NET, Wisdom, C, C Sharp, Skill Server, Oracle, PHP, and uh, if you qualify, then you will reveal a URL for you. Okay. So thanks for uh, showing your interest in top developers. So uh, today, in, th in today's tutorial, I'm gonna discuss about that how I can create, how I can implement boxing and unboxing in C Sharp as well as ASP.NET. So let me uh, let me clear that what is a boxing and what is unboxing. Boxing, you know that uh, we have two types uh, of variable like value type and reference type. Value type directly store the value of a variable and the reference type the store the reference or a address of the variable in reference type. So if you are if you want to implement the boxing and how it is used useful in ASP.NET, let's see. I'm gonna start um, to implement this example I have used a button if you click on this button let's find out that how I can implement the boxing so I have created a variable that is int i int i I'm storing some value in int i so I'm gonna taking so first of all take a boxing uh, boxing it means transfer value type variable value into reference type reference type variable so this is called boxing so this is my reference type and the reference type variable name is j and I am transferring value of i into j. This is the boxing. Now, I am going to discuss about that how can implement unboxing reference type to sorry reference type to value type. This is called unboxing. So, if you are going to create a new variable which is k variable and you want that j value should be transferred into k variable then you have to do typecasting by using the int and uh, you can directly click this this is called unboxing right so i want to print some data to print some data i am gonna discuss about second example the state an example like uh, if i am create an object variable if i am gonna create an object variable is an array right so I'm giving name obj a double r new object so it can store three values so I'm writing object 3 this is the maximum value it can store right so uh, obj sorry a double r this is the array and at your index can store value 1 2 right this is an integer type value so at index of 0 it can store integer value now I'm gonna create a another ver another variable objr 1 equals to 2 3 4 it means that it can store at one index it is storing the value of double right at third position I'm passing some string value. So to implement this, I'm gonna create a for each loop. By using for each loop, you can, you know, you can print object all values, object obj in obj a double r. This is the object, right? 
so I'm printing some data that is obj dot to string so let's see the output this button oh some error oh, let's find out that how it is possible that in my code there is some error obj and this is the object value that's going to write for each